everybody welcome back for another exciting video this is the brick man Chris here and today I have something really special I take it very um, interestingly because I of course was engaged at Walt Disney World so I have here Minnie and Mickey Lego set by Disney and Lego so I'm going to be unboxing this and we're going to be doing it live right here so here we go it says 18 years and older, but I don't know why Lego puts that on there. Maybe because it's got so many Lego pieces. I think that this set is amazing. You got Mickey with the guitar. His ears are really big. You got Minnie with a flower pot on her head or whatever you want to call that. It's pretty cool. She's got flowers in her hands. It looks like they're trying to hold hands. Um, what's really cool is you see the storybook over here and it looks like they're taking a picture. It looks like a legitimate camera. It is so cool on a platform. It has their signatures. You have Minnie Mouse's signature here and you have Mickey Mouse's signature there. So get a close look at that. This is a shout out to my shirt as well. My shirt is also on the back of this. This was the original Mickey drawing when they made the original Mickey Mouse, not Steamboat Willie, the original Mickey Mouse. So this is pretty cool. I was glad to be able to pick up this shirt. And as you can see, the actual size of the hand is actually pretty big relative to my hand. Look at that, guys. That's pretty unique, I gotta say. Like, they did a really good job on this set, as far as I can see. Another cool thing I've noticed is that these are actually on like a film piece, like a fake film piece. If you look at the back over here, I just noticed that. That is so cool. We have 1,739 pieces. It is set number 43179. So let's unbox it and see what it has inside. I'm really interested to uh, see what kind of unique pieces are in this set compared to others, such as like the base plate is different, you know. It's not like the one by eights or one by tens or one by sixteens. So, or maybe it is. Hmm. I'm seeing some uh, really unique pieces like the, the Mickey mini hand right there. That's a unique Lego piece I've never seen before. Let me know if you guys have seen that before. I personally haven't. So, and I unbox a lot of Lego sets as you guys know. So, hmm. There's the brick separator. Awesome. I always like to see colorful Lego pieces. Like you have the girly um, hot pinks and purples in there. That's pretty cool. I like to see that. Changes things up for the eyes. Ooh, the base plates. Look at these, guys. Those are the, the base plate signatures that I was telling you about. Let me try to get a, uh, a clearer view of this without scratching them up too much. Look, we got Minnie and Mickey's signature right there. So it's safe to say that you have a piece of memorabilia when you have this in your house. Not really, but it is really cool. Um, I have a picture of my wife and I, and I just wanted to add this in there. We took it a long time ago when we first met, and it was just a spur-of-the-moment picture. But the interesting thing is, is that it looks similar to this box, actually, the way we were standing. She is on this side and I'm on this side, just like in here. And if any of you know me, you have seen this picture before. It's on a canvas. So I think that that's pretty cool. It's like a sign or something, you know, that I had to just unbox this Lego set for you guys. But I am going to be creating a new series, as you know, with the Disney Lego sets. I have a Star Wars Lego series set. As you know, I got the Death Star back here and a lot of others like lego friends i'm eventually going to be doing lego duplo i have a lot of duplo sets that i wish i kept the box for but my little ones decided that hey crayons are awesome on the box and that was a couple years ago so we just have their lego duplo blocks in pieces over there in the bins for them so maybe in the future i'll buy more like the train set we have from disney uh, Mickey Mouse train set, and that's pretty cool. All right, the box is now empty, and this is going to be so fun to build. I see a lot of yellow pieces, a lot of black pieces. I see Minnie's dress over here piece. Look at that, the polka dots, the classical. Um, just a lot of cool, like, 
intricate little pieces that you're not used to seeing. I thought that this would be really cool um, as well in my living room. Like, Lego, you guys have done such a great job creating some really cool iconic Lego sets that just match the core around people's houses. I really think like the Coliseum, which is right here, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of that. Of course, guys, like, comment, subscribe. The comment section is always live. Just leave a comment, I will get back to you. I get back to every single one of them. And of course, the notification bell so you can see more cool videos that I come out with. Any suggestions, I am open to, as you know. I'm gonna open up this bad boy right here so we can get to the bottom of how many Pages are in the instructions and how long, well hold on a second, you got me stickers and you guys know how I feel about that. Every video I say it, Lego, hopefully, eventually you just discontinue the stickers. You just print them on there. I've noticed that for a lot of Star Wars Legos, some really intricate pieces have them and then some really important ones don't. I'm just like, why? 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 So anyway, uh, let's put the stickers over here. Everybody feels the same way. All right, we're getting there. So we have two instruction booklets, which is really cool. And as I thought, one is Mickey and one is Minnie. Again, that's one is Mickey and one is Minnie because there are two. So basically, if you put them together like this, you are completely done. No, you have to actually open up the manual. You have to do this because these are Legos, right? So you want to actually build them Look at that. It's almost as if Disney put this on my shirt just for me. So a really cool uh, thing about that is I actually got, when I got engaged, um, they sent me randomly. I got this package in the mail from FedEx and I was like, this was back in 2015. And uh, that exact Mickey was drawn in blue. I have it downstairs somewhere. I will be showing it in a video someday, but it is really cool that they sent it to me from the artist who is working on it now, on the Mickey. And I thought that that was really intricate and they just sent it out of the blue. And I really appreciate Disney for doing that. So can't thank you enough, Disney. And I can't thank Lego enough either. They are, they've been very awesome to me. They throw in so many freebies as long as, you know, it's not too many at the store, but anything laying around they give me and I love it, you know. So, and I go to the Delaware store, I go to the King of Prussia store, the Delaware store's Christiana Mall. Shout out to every team member at that store. And again, shout out to every team member at the King of Prussia Mall store in Pennsylvania. Amazing employees. They love their job. So let's see what we got as far as number one. Wow, this is gonna be really fun to put together. And look at this picture, everybody. So this is the actual designer that was putting it together. And as you can see right here, it's a pretty large um, uh, statue, you know? So they're, pre they're pretty large Lego statues. You know, you have the Mickey and Minnie. So it's pretty neat. You got the parts pieces over here. So you know if you have a million parts like usual or you're not supposed to, 108. Pages 189 instructions. Not too difficult, but this is what I'm thinking. I build the mini, the wife builds the Mickey. Or I build the Mickey and the wife builds the mini. I think it's a really interesting way to get the couples uh, to start some things going on because of the pandemic and everything so that they can spend more time together. Why not? Go out and pick up a Mickey and uh, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Lego set, uh, 43179. It's only 1,739 pieces, two hours, three hours spending time together. Hey, it's only living in the moment, right? So that was the Mickey. This is the Minnie. And the Minnie is cool because it comes with the camera and the book. And she also has the guitar on this. That's pretty cool. So you're building all of that at once. But obviously Mickey holds the guitar and the camera um, tripod with the camera on it is for everybody. So we have a total of, looks like it is 122 pages. And it looks like with this one, because it's number two, you're going to be putting both Mickey and Minnie together. That's why it says only 10 at the top of this page. However, obviously that is not the case. 
So I want to be realistic here, and I want to say that's about 150. We're at 147, 148. All right, so it looks like it's 148 steps. So I'd call it 170 steps, just to make it clear. Um, this is gonna be a really fun set to put together. I'm gonna show you everything. I have the Disney castle that is coming on its way. A Lego was sent it out, it is on its way, and I am excited to do an unboxing of that. It is not the Disney castle from Disneyland. It is actually Cinderella's Lego Disney castle from 2016. They haven't retired the product yet, but there is rumors that LEGO will retire it within the next 14 months. So be on the lookout for that. The value of that may increase as well. If you're a LEGO investor, come to my channel, like, subscribe, leave me suggestions. Are any of these things worth any money? If not, I don't care. I'm having fun. Because if you're not having fun, you're working really hard. So everybody, I appreciate everything. Hit the notification bell. Do it as many times as you can with my videos. If you don't like my videos, that's okay. Leave a thumbs down. If you like them, leave a thumbs up. I'm always trying to move things around and make things better for everyone. Let's keep it G though, okay, in that comment section. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Rickman Chris out.